Hello, this is a little introduction to the uh, electric XP bike that I have. Um, I usually ride Vespas, which are over here. I also fix them, so here's a couple, you know. There's one over there, there's one over there. I have a couple in my shed. So, so just to get a little exercise, I decided to get an electric bike. Just a little bit, you know. I'm not to, just get out there, and I have a path near my house, and uh, that path is very convenient. It runs a really long distance, and I can take, I can not be on the roads and make it all the way to the grocery store and pet store and post office, you know. So I can get around on it, and I figured it'd be kind of a good idea to get on the bike and do it, and that's what I've been doing for a little while, for a short time now, because it's just, the weather's just starting to break here in Connecticut. So, what I did was I got a basket for it so I can carry, you know, two bags of groceries back here, and I can carry some more stuff down here in the, in the pouch that, Kate, that you can get with it. And uh, it's been really useful. Um, let's see. So, the pouch, this is an option right here. And if you do get one, see there's a Part here in the front. Don't strap it to the front. Strap it to the second one right back here. There's a second line back here because what will happen is your foot will hit the bag, the back of the bag when it comes around. If you don't, you'll be very frustrated. <laughs> so, and I also, I also recommend getting some type of something to hold stuff because it's a, it's a good little hauler. Um, the bike came with a 500 watt hub in the back with a peak of 800, they say. It feels, it feels strong. Everyone says it strong, feels stronger than a 500, and it's pretty strong. Um, also has a 500 watt battery. That, and it has, a, it has a cruising range, they say, I don't know, 40, 50, something like that. But I, uh, I'm thinking maybe more like, with me on it, maybe like 25. Um, Maybe if you're 150, you'll get more. I'm, I'm a bit heavier. Um, it, uh, but what you can do, because it has a 500 watt battery, and the battery's kind of reasonable. It's about a $300 a battery, which is reasonable in battery price range, sort of, for for this bike. Um, you can get two batteries and you still have the bike at about 12, 1300 bike bucks. And, uh, and it still beats the price of a lot of other bikes. And it's also, what also drew, drew me to this bike is that, you know, it's not, it's, it's made in uh, Arizona. It's an Arizona bike. I don't know if it's completely made there, but the company's there and they, they're pretty good at um, customer service. In fact, they're really good because uh, this crank came bent. And I uh, got a new crank for it, and they sent the parts for it. Um, upgrades I got, I did upgrade the seat because the seat isn't really that comfortable. And I got a shock post, but the shock post out there are a little too short. This is at its max, and it's a little too short for me, like just a drop. So I, I, I have the uh, I have the other the company one I purchased. I would recommend getting the per company one just because it's longer. They come, it's much longer, actually. It goes all the way down to the base of the thing up. You can raise it to a tremendous height. So that's what I've, I've, I have in my garage ready to put on it. Um, all right, what else? Um, so the, only, the only annoying thing about the bike were the brakes. And I hear everybody complain about them, but, you know... You just have to uh, give it a good adjustment, which takes a little while. But after, you, if you get the brakes perfectly adjusted, then the bike's fine. Uh, I do like the gears. It ha does have seven gears, which is just the, just the right amount so that uh, you can add extra power to it at the, at the decent RPM. I like spinning at 60 RPMs at least, so I can keep that 60 RPM cadence going while I'm riding. Um, Well, what else can I say about it? And I'll be making more videos on it. It seems like everybody who buys this bike almost makes a video about it. Um, 
go online, you'll find a lot of videos. I also put, uh, I covered up the name and everything here. I don't want to draw a ton of attention to it because the word electric basically is electric. Everybody knows it's an electric bike, and these bikes are stolen a lot. I do recommend doing a lot for theft protection. I have a lock set, and I have an alarm on it. It's hidden very well on the bike. Um, it's, I have it strapped back here behind everything. I don't know if you're going to even see it. It's back here behind everything and behind this pipe. And it's, you know, if you touch the bike, it goes off. Um, I also am going to get a, uh, an alarmed disc lock to put on the back tire where, the, where it's heavier, not the front. Since we have to lift the bike to walk away with it. And I have a decent, I have two lock sets for it. I have an extremely strong one and a semi-strong one, depending on where I'm going. Um, I also always, I run it, I run it through here. I loop the lock through here, through the hole of the seat, through the metal, um, through the bottom, through down here, and through this part here, and around something, so that the bike, you can't take the seat either. Um, I'll talk, I'll make a, I'm going to make a riding video on it soon. I got this, I've got a little GoPro type camera here. And, uh, I'm actually testing the camera too right now. Alright, I do recommend the bike. Like I said, if, uh, if you don't like the range, think of it this way. You can still get like another 7 pound battery that doubles its range. And the bike still comes out under the price of a lot of bikes out there. Um, now, it's still a kind of a lower end bike, it is, but it doesn't feel like one. But if you uh, if you want to go higher, then it then I yeah that's a whole different step. You're going into the you know sixteen hundred two thousands, you know twenty four twenty five hundred to two thousand range. Those are different bikes. All right, take care.